What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your dude, RefrigerTube, and today, well, we, we, we have a tin opening video we, we're still going to be uploading, but this is something different. I just got home from GameStop, and they have an incredible deal going on right now where all trading cards are buy one, get one free. So what did we do? We went, and we got ourselves a couple... Horizon, Cybernetic Horizons, we got some Evolution Booster Packs, ow, Cardboard Cut, we got some Burning Shadows, which all these, well, except for these, I'll be putting those to the side, making a stack of these for uh, sometime during January, but these might be uh, a video we're going to do tonight, tomorrow, some sometime soon, I did these for a relatively soon video. So, so that means I only paid for two of these, which are $4 a booster pack. So I only paid $8 for four booster packs. Same with the Evolutions booster packs. But <laughs> that's not the best part. That is not... What is this? Okay, I know what this is. Those are the stupid warranties. But here's the best part. We got... One, two, three. All those on there, no? Hold on, there we go. Three, four Elite Trainer boxes. And all we paid was this one was 50, so this cost the most, so you have to pay for the most. And then the other three were all 40. Wow, the lighting is horrible at this angle. But anyways, yeah, so $90, $90 for four boost for four elite trainer boxes. When each of them are usually $40. It's insane! And if you're an employee at GameStop, I mean, you get a discount. So that's even less. And it's National Employee Appreciation Weekend at GameStop. Okay, I might work at GameStop. So that's how I know. Anyways, but four elite trainer boxes. We're going to open up those later on, probably next year. We just got them because it's a great deal. How can you not? And that was that was the Pokemon stuff. That was just the Pokemon stuff. I'm not I'm not done yet. We are actually opening something in this video. We are, but it's not Pokemon. This is an actual like more collectibles video. Where we're going to open up something of collector's worth. Let me just put these booster packs to the side. All these elite trainer boxes. Also picked up Smash Bros. Because Smash Bros. is amazing. I will be streaming that. I put the I put my Twitch in every video now. So if you guys want to, I'll be streaming Xbox One and Switch games. By Switch I mean Pokemon Go and uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. But in the Xbox, we have Call of Duty, we have Speedrunners, we got... Fuck, I'll even play, I'll even go Minecraft. But the collector's thing that I wanted to open up today is... <laughs> Let me back it up a little bit. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite Collector's Box. When this thing first came out, it was $250. If your GameStop has any of these in stock, they're $80 right now. $80. That is $170 cheaper than when it originally came out. Granted, I had coupons, so I also used coupons to get it cheaper. But this, this is why this is such an awesome steal for $80. We're going to open it, but I want you guys to see. Let me, let me move one of these lights. You have Shun Li. You have Shun Li, Mega Man. Captain Marvel and Iron Man. Those are four statues and replica of the oh god the camera's rotating replica of the Infinity Stones and we are going to open this and I'm going to show you them all right now because why not in all honesty all I wanted out of this was Mega Man and the Infinity Stones which is why I got it because I get a discount and coupons so and it's eighty dollars even $80, you can buy this and sell each of those for $20 a piece and make all your money back and still have a game and the Infinity Stones. Or you can keep what you want, it doesn't fucking matter. 
But let's get to opening this bad boy. It also comes with a copy of the game, which unfortunately this is a PS4 version, so I will, <laughs> I'll just be bringing that to my store and uh, trading it in and putting it towards Anthem! Anthem! Because that game is what I'm most hyped about. Uh, don't want to knock over any of my other collectibles. And the first thing I see is this. So, I'm going to move this stand up again real quick. Just so you guys know, this isn't a regular edition of Marvel vs. Capcom. This is a Steelbook edition. So we're going to cut where the plastic is. So in case I do scratch anything, it's not the Steelbook because Steelbooks are collector's items. This is entirely collectible. The game, which I'll probably keep the case and just sell the game because that's what people do at GameStop. This is a metal book case. Beautiful. Then you have the game, all the codes, which I will probably just... Wait, is, the... is this an actual pass for the characters? Oh, it is. That's a that's a full character pass for Marvel vs. Woo! I'll just, I'll just get rid of the game. Screw it. I uh, hope I have a leftover sleep. But yeah, I know. Steelbooks, amazing. I collect them for all sorts of games. Actually, up there is a... That's just a small portion of my steelbooks. That can be another video if you guys are actually interested. I'll show you my steelbook collection. Time to get rid of all this. Keep that code. Keep that code. There's two codes there. That's garbage. We need a garbage bag, guys. Considering this whole box is going to be garbage in a, in a few minutes. Put everything that's not... We're going to move everything off the table because it's really not necessary to have everything here. Oh, we have a garbage bag. I can throw this stuff away, too. Who's ready for Christmas, guys? Who's ready for Christmas? I know I am... I got my best friend woo, a handmade journal for Christmas. Uh, it's still going right. Alright. Uh, it's not heavy, it's just I'm trying to do it from a weird angle. I'm trying to not knock over anything. So we'll get this box out of the way. our actual first collectibles video. Holy hell. Kind of hyped about it, actually. Considering the channel is trading cards and collectibles. Let's turn this music up. Do a quick slice around the tape. Oh, I don't want to cut the styrofoam. Styrofoam makes the worst messes. For sure you guys know. And before we actually open this thing, I want you guys to actually see this. There's a really nice... I don't know if you guys can actually see it. It's a logo. Marvel vs. Capcom logo. Embroidered into the star. Sorry about the finger! Sorry! Uh oh, I think we missed some of the tape. Oh yeah, we missed some of the tape. Alright, slowly. Slowly. Oh my god, these are beautiful. Oh. I thought I'd have to assemble some of this stuff. I guess not. The main guy. The main boy, Mega Man, my dude, my dude. Let's let's get. Oh, what? Wait, what just happened? All right, all the lights are back on, well, except for one. So we have the Infinity Stones and our beautiful four statues. 
So that's it. And the uh, the game. The game with the uh, fantastic steelbook. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments below which statue is your favorite. And not the ones that are on my collection shelves already, because those are almost all <laughs> Dragon Ball. <laughs> We're about to alter some things around to add that Mega Man and maybe, maybe Iron Man? I'm not sure. But, if you enjoyed this, smash the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Also, again, in the comments, which one of these four did you like the best? Or did you happen to like the Infinity Stones the best? That's that's really your prerogative, you know? Whatever you enjoyed, let me know. What did you like? And uh, tell me, do you like the, this table setup better for, like, pack openings? Or, or did you like the, 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 the desk? Because I usually set this up for uh, bigger items, kind of like how we... Throw all the elite trainer boxes on here and everything. But, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Yo, apparently, apparently we were recording for a hot minute. This is where we're at right now. I don't know what just happened. I'm going to go back. If I can figure out where it messed up, I will cut it out. But this is, this is the first one. The one that I wanted the most. The one that got me to get this. It's Mega Man. Let me see if I can focus in on him a little bit. Oh, God. Like, that's some good detail. Let's I'll put him down. He has some really nice detail on that guy. Focus in on him. Nice little platform that he comes on. I, I, I like this thing a lot right now, actually. Let me move the lighting a little bit. We're going to get all these out so we can actually get them a nice picture of them all together. Oh, man. Again, I only really want a Mega Man, so the others will. I'll probably ask my friends if they want them, and then I'll sell them to my friends. If, if I'm going to get rid of them, at least. Uh, Captain Marvel, one of my friends already says that she wants her, so that's a good thing. Captain Marvel will have a nice place, a nice home. My friend who uh, is a cosplayer, so if you like cosplay, uh, check out, I can't remember her Instagram name. If I remember later, I will uh, plug it in. Oh, this one is, oh man, this one is insane. Okay, okay, I just want to make sure it didn't stop recording, freeze record on me again. This one's quite delicate. Ooh, bubble wrap, who doesn't love bubble wrap? Because if you look, all these other characters are on two feet. And this one, I'm going to be very careful with this one. This one isn't even on a full foot. This is wild. So, this, this is all this is characters standing up on. Absolutely insane. So, alright, we're going to... What? No. Does this box light up? I think this box lights up, guys. It gave me batteries for it. First, first we're going to get all of them in the background, if we can fit them all. That's three of them, and then you can't forget Iron Man. I think I'm gonna take a picture of uh, one of these guys and use it as my background after. That is, they are beautiful. I did not realize they'd be this nice. I know I said I wanted to get rid of them because I didn't really want them, but now that I'm looking at them, I'm like, oh man. Oh. Oh. Sorry about this video being a bit longer, but I mean, there's a lot of good stuff in this video. So, this chest is uh, kind of a, feels like a cheaper plast. What is this? This is a joke, right? Let me see these Infinity Stones on this. So they look way nicer than they really are on the back of that. Oh, this is, this is not what I wanted it to, this is not what I thought it would be. I might get rid of this too. 
That's disappointing. I'm, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be right back because this is the, uh, the Infinity Stones. Give me one second. All right. So this, this is what the Infinity Stones actually look like. They, they don't come out. They say replicas or, or something like that, and they're not really replicas. They look like, in my personal opinion, they kind of look cheap. The picture looks way better than it really is. Now I'm gonna show you guys something. Okay. I'm gonna have to kill all the lights. I'm gonna have to kill the music. So this is gonna get dark in here. Alright, alright. Where is it? Pardon me. But they do light the fuck up. So that is kind of... Oh, they pulse? Okay, so... I mean, that's kind of cool. I wish I had known that that's what they did beforehand. I probably wouldn't have been so excited about them. And I wanted them before. Now, I think I'm just going to sell them. Just like everything. Uh, the other three statues. But it's kind of cool. I mean, I didn't realize it was going to pulse. So that that's a cool thing. But, alright, let's get the lights back on. Put the music back on.